Why is Jan Thomas a good choice to testify at the Congressional Hearing on Mental Health and HIPAA? Well, I just want to start this out by saying I wasn't going to do this video. That was before I realized it was in D.C. Yes, that's right, Washington, D.C. So, let's get this rolling. To look at why Jan Thomas is a good choice, we need to look at two things. Who is Jan Thomas and why isn't she a good choice? Once we look at those things, you'll be better understand be better able to understand my question and why I decided to make this video. If you want. Who is Jan Thomas? Well first I'd like to look at who is Mrs. Jan Thomas. Mrs. Jan Thomas is the wife of the late Ed Thomas. Ed Thomas was a football coach, but he also taught a community. He taught them how to bounce back. Ever heard the term, behind every good man is the woman who put up with him? Anyone that's read the Sacred Acre knows that Jan Thomas put up with Ed. And for a little bit more information about, Jan Tom for Ed, about Ed Thomas, see the link in the description to a video I've already made about Ed Thomas. Now, on to who Jan Thomas is. We know that a few of the 2010 AP graduates said that she inspired them. Why? I'd like to use April 14, 2010 as an example. This was a sentencing day of her husband's murderer. Now, she could have told him to go to hell. I think everybody would have understood that. In fact, she didn't. She did the opposite. She told Mark Becker that she hoped he got to go to heaven and see Ed Thomas again. So, now that we know who she is, let's talk about the second issue. Why is Jan Thomas a bad choice? Well, this isn't quite as straightforward as the first one. Now, I can think of two reasons why Jan Thomas isn't a good choice. First of all, Ed Thomas's murder wasn't a flaw in the system. It was the result of a doctor not following the law. You see, in Iowa, 48 hour holds don't count weekends or holidays. Ed Thomas was killed on Wednesday the 24th. So Mark Becker was released on Tuesday the 23rd. Monday would have been the 22nd, and we know that the chase happened on the 20th, which follows the logic that he was put in the hospital on Saturday, and since Saturday and Sunday don't count, we can pretty much say that Mark Becker's hold started at 12 a.m. on the 22nd. So, he hadn't really been in the hospital for 48 hours when he'd, be, when he'd been released. Now, on to the second reason. Why not take someone like Joan Becker to testify? Joan Becker knows how irritating that the laws are. She struggled with them. She tried to get her son help. And any time that she tried to doc talk to the doctor, they said, Oh, I can't talk to you because of HIPAA. Now that I've talked about why Jan Thomas is a bad choice to testify, you're back to my original question. Why is Jan Thomas a good choice to testify at the congressional hearing? Well, I have a couple of reasons. First of all, if she knows how hard it is to lose your spouse to a crazy person, yes, I said it, crazy person. Those of you that know me know I hate using that word, but it fits you very nicely. And second of all, she works, okay? When she testifies, it works. Um, I want to draw your attention to the Ed Thomas Law. Um, in Iowa, Congress, back when it was just a bill, it was getting ready to die. She goes in and testifies, and the bill goes from dead to unanimous. Um, this is just a theory, though. Uh, it was explained in an article. I'm not sure who the article was originally by. I think it was originally by the Associated Press, but don't quote me on this. Um, but I could just be overthinking this whole, I mean, he did say in an article that the congressperson that asked her to testify wanted crime victims to testify. What are you thinking? Leave a comment below, and if you want more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe to me. Also, I need a new topic for this weekend and for tomorrow, so leave a topic below. Or you can like me on Twitter at, at Leah Cameron.